First, you said it's not appropriate to consider the motion at this time. Then, what does this mean? At what stage should we consider it? You agree it is not sub judice, so why is it not appropriate? Can we hear from you? We are talking about what is to happen in the interim, in the interim, in a town council over which you are the chairman, until you get a rever reversal from the Court of Appeal, if that happens. So can Mr Manap explain in the interim, why is it not appropriate to be talking about actions that you should take now to safeguard, to ensure that your residents' interest comes first? Let me give you an example of what this recusal means. If, for example, a teacher is found to have done something wrong, a teacher who interacts with students every day, then he can't teach until he clears his name on an appeal. It's similar in this case. The motion does not require anyone to resign, to step down, not even to refrain from all functions of a town councillor, but only that with relate, which relates to financial oversight and control. Can Mr Manap explain why that is not in the best interest of the town council and the residents, why that is not the proper and decent thing to do, so that you have assurance that whatever is the outcome on the appeal, your interests and those of your interests of your residents are safeguarded. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Faisal Manap. I would like to respond to SMS question. Sir, I believe as a HTC chair, it is my responsibility to weigh and evaluate what is the best action moving forward for the residents of Arjun Agong town. I have to take into consideration the mandate given by Arjun residents at GE 2015 admits the HTC saga where the residents of Arjun had decided to still give mandate to Mr. Lau Tai Kiang, Silver Lim and the, the other three, three of us to manage their town. Personally, it would be improper for me to cancel this mandate and take mandate given to us, WP, MP, seriously. Secondly, as I said earlier, I've also not received any advice from the independent panels on the court findings. Additionally, I believe everyone in this chamber understands that the Court of Appeal can overturn the current findings. Hence, being a responsible chair of HTC, based on the reasonings I've stated above, my call is to wait until the result of the appeal is out before deciding on any actions to be taken. Thank you, sir. Sir Win Tong. First of all, Mr Manap, there is no suggestion that you reverse the mandate that has been given. You heard me very clearly. We are asking for a narrow recusal over financial oversight. Why financial oversight? Because these are the very same issues that the court in this case has made very serious and egregious pronouncements. Second, in relation to the suggestion that the mandate was given in 2015, but today we are in 2019 and the judgment has been released after having heard all parties and certain findings have been made. I'd like to ask Mr Manap, does he not recognise that those findings are very serious, egregious, grave findings? Mr Faisal Manap. So the judgment is a judgment. I have to respect the court judgment, but it's subject to an appeal, as mentioned earlier. This, uh, the, the finding can be overturned by the Court of Appeal. So I stand firm on my call to wait until the uh, appeal, the outcome of the Court of Appeal been made before I decide to take any actions. You know the position, Ms. So is Mr. So Mr. saying that absolutely nothing at all will be done by HTC notwithstanding the grave and serious judgment that has been released by the High Court, which AHTC and I hear the Workers' Party recognise and accept that nothing will be done in the interim. Mr Faisal Manap. I've stated clearly that I do not support this motion. Thank you.